Hey folks, this is Derek with Overwater Overland. Here behind me is Karen. Hi. Where is Karen? Karen's. Karen. Where is Karen? Karen's over here. And then we got Ella down below. And we're here on Thursday. We're going to go uh, down to the event area for the welcome drink and happy hour and try and uh, find some of our posse that's here and see what kind of uh, see what kind of trouble we can cause this place is awesome we got a good spot we'll take some more video of that we're up on the hill so we can see way out over top of the expo um, yeah better than I thought it was gonna be so this is year two for me year one for Karen so, and your year last for Ella so well, let's so let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. One of the things they changed for Expo this year is they got rid of the uh, portable shower trailers and they've gone to using geyser showers. These are geyser hot showers. Now, here they've got some cubes set up. There's two here and I think three on the other side. And what happens is, is that you come in here and they'll give you a sponge that connects to the geyser uh, hot water cleaner. And then you sponge, you basically sponge yourself off with hot water, soap up and then sponge off again. So they've got it, they've got it connected with a trailer that's probably full of water and propane to heat them or electricity, I should say, because I think they're electric or propane. I don't know what they are, but I think it's an electric pump and a propane heat. So I've looked at these, but not that closely. But this is just pretty cool, if you ask me. We did the happy hour. We're heading back to camp. Cheers. Have fun. We need people. All right. On for the next one. Good morning, everybody. Day one officially of Overland Expo East. We are cleaned up and getting ready to head down to the Expo grounds from up here at the uh, forest camp area. Now it doesn't look like we're in the forest, but over here behind me there's a lot of rigs back in the woods. We chose to stay out here on the hill overlooking the fence and the venue is back behind us and it's a really good uh, view of that. Plus we get a lot of sun to dry off, etc. So that's a good thing. Let me give you a little walk around of our setup and then we'll go from there and we'll start exploring. Okay, so if you're familiar, we have the Colorado ZR2 Bison. All right, with the snorkel. And we'll start up here. This is for my GoPro. I figured out that running my GoPro outside, I'm getting some better quality footage uh, while driving and I can run that from my app on my phone. We got the Tread Pros traction boards. We got the we got the Ella back in the background barking. So here we have an eight gallon water tank. We have the Rome 96 liter something like that box. We use that to store our bedding in. We have the 230 Armadillo A2. We have a 230 shower hut, which we have used yesterday. One thing that I do like is having the uh, step for putting the tent up, up and down. It makes it a lot easier. Around back here, this is kind of base of operations. We do have onboard power. However, I did bring <coughs> however I did bring the Blue Eddy for charging items such as cell phones and cameras and stuff uh, just for simple ease of use. Uh, we got all Ella's goodies in here. We're using this yellow Sea to Summit bag. This is a really nice bag. This is um, a 13 liter and we put all her dog food in there. Really nice for that. Ella's jacket. We are carrying a cooler just to have some bags of ice for drinks and stuff of that nature. Around here you can see we got a, our table set up. Now one of the things I've gone to is using these red totes from Home Depot. They seem to be a great alternative to having drawers. 
um, for me anyway, because of drawers, I would have to uh, leave all this stuff in the truck most of the time. So, one other thing I did get, and this is probably a little messy, but I got this folding camp kitchen, which comes with some dividers, and we're using it as a wardrobe. So it fits real nice in there. The measurements are perfect. And uh, it's working out real good as a wardrobe. So, and then we got everything else going on there. Ella's got her bed. And uh, as you can see, here's a pretty good view of the mountains in the background. Land Expo ground, you know, the display grounds or the vendors and all that are up there. And there's a constant stream of people coming in. It's steady, steady. And there's all kinds of rigs, and we've shot a few of them already. So, Karen's over here with Ella. Good morning, honey. Good morning. We're going to have a good first full day at Expo, yes. correct? Yes, we, we are. are. All right, so we're going to take Ella for a walk. Are we going to walk her through the woods? Yeah. All right, we'll take a few shots in the woods, and then uh, we'll make our way down to go see some classes and uh, buy some stuff. Wait, who said buy stuff? Oh, we're not know. buying anything. Karen says we're not buying anything because we don't have anywhere to put it. Right. So, as you can see, the truck has exploded. So, all right, stick around for the rest of the day. So, this gentleman here has a beautiful FJ. It's got a beautiful wrap on it. Check out the hood. We gotta get a wrap like that on our hood. He's got a turtleback trailer. 23-0 walkabout with a vestibule. Talked to him this morning. He's got his girlfriend sitting in the chair over there. It's pretty pretty good. He said she uh, really pays attention and likes having conversations. So I think his name was Craig. This device here is a Mercedes Unimog. I talked to the gentleman and his wife yesterday. They were from Germany. They shipped it from Germany to Halifax, Nova Scotia, traveled around Canada, came across at uh, Niagara Falls, and make their way out west. Hopefully we get to have a drink with them. But that is one serious beast right there. One serious beast. I can't even imagine shipping. I can't even imagine shipping that thing across the ocean. Well, I caught up to Karen and we visited with some more people. What do you think about the forest? forest? It's really the forest. It is the forest, it's isn't it? It's quite the forest. There are no bears here. Does it have to have bears to be a forest? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, so, but anyway, the forest camping is uh, pretty secluded. It's pretty, pretty nice back here, quaint. Met some nice people. Are you gonna go, uh, what are you gonna do next? Okay, well, why don't we work our way back? Okay. Okay. And then we'll make our way to the the vendors and the classes. We got classes. We got classes. We got classes. We got to go get educated. All right, we're going this way. Yeah. All right. Great.
morning. Good morning. We are day three leaving the expo. Yeah. Yep. We had a great time. We met a lot of fun people. Um, some new friends, ran into some people met last year. Hope to kind of get that uh, those relationships built so we have some more people to hang out with on the on the overland stuff. Um, I had a wonderful time. Karen, tell me about your adventure, please. I had a good time. It uh, was fun. Ella did much better than I anticipated she would, so that was great. Um, it was a little bit rainy yesterday morning, but we managed through that, and a little bit cold this morning, which was almost worse than rain. It's pretty cold. Yeah. Well, I have a lot. Of it's 53 on. right now, but it was probably in the 40s overnight. Yeah. We're from Florida. Can We're you from tell Florida. It's cold. Well, you're formerly from Michigan, so. Well, I know, but. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, yeah. So it was great. Did you learn anything? I did learn a few things. Yes. Yeah. What what kind of stuff did you learn? I learned how to use an app, and I used some things things about data. Some data management. Data management. Imagine that you come and to I, Expo to learn data management. Yeah, and I learned that we should bring less. Less is better. Less is better. It's we'll not. Try that. Yeah, and. We're going to make our way through West Virginia over to Ohio today. Um, so maybe we'll stop and grab a few shots along the way and share them with you folks. But yeah, this is, uh, this is a really fun time. I'm thinking uh, we may do another expo, but I think we're going to try and do one out west. Because why not? We'll see. We'll see. Karen's like, that's a long way to go. That's a long way to go. But we'll get there. And it's just a different type or different group of people. All right, right then. All right. So hey, you guys, stay tuned, and we'll be around. Peace.